What is happening, everybody? We are back with another reaction video, and we're reacting to Honest Trailers Unbreakable. Now, this is the. Let me move this close. This is the M. Night Shyamalan Unbreakable. If you're thinking about another Unbreakable, which I, I'm sure some other movie's been named Unbreakable, and I can't think of it right now, but. Anyway, let's just get into it. Nothing really else to say about it. They do an awesome job. I'm sure they'll do an awesome job here. Alright, here we go. The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. But, come on, people, seriously? <laughs> yes, you have to tell us every time, otherwise we're going to get pissed off. The following trailer is rated S for honest. After his breakout hit, I see dead people. But before we had to break up with him, right, they, they just keep oh, talking about this me. movie. And like Shyamalan was still unbreakable. Not gonna lie, I, you I like thought split, that movie was and okay. After someone explained why I mean, it, was, it wasn't was in great, it, you keep meaning to check out Unbreakable, the atmospheric thinking man's comic book film that M Night kept insisting would be a trilogy. Then that kept not happening, which in hindsight was a really good thing, because he had a lot of crap to get out of the system first. Plan on murdering me in my sleep. What? No. <laughs> that movie was so stupid. A half an hour, oh my goodness. I bought that damn DVD. Who doesn't take full advantage of his talents and just kind of mopes around even though he's got it all. AKA Bruce Willis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch as his dreary life is turned upside down by Elijah Price, a fragile obsessive who insists that everyone likes comics the same way that he does. This is an art gallery. Yeah, that was that was thought that was so crazy to begin. It's a piece of art. And who's prone to angry, violent outbursts, aka modern day comics fans. Together, they'll shake up David's midlife crisis by discovering he has the power it's to true. lift any weight, lick any toilet seat. You don't get sick. And pause for any amount of time in the middle of a sentence. I'm still moving there. It's just... He did do that a lot. Oh, just not now. Sentence. Just not right. This morning was the first morning that I could remember that I didn't open my eyes and feel... Sadness. Sheesh, I forgot how depressing this movie was. for everything you love about early Shyamalan. Like clunky dialogue. You can't let bad things happen to good people, right? That's your code, right? That's the hero's code. Something about water being scary. I'm afraid of water. I don't like that kid was kind of annoying to me. Do you remember the story about the about the boy that almost drowned in the pool? And a twist you'll never see coming the first time. That will be so obvious the second time around. Yeah, it was you pretty obvious. How you when I watched it, I was like, this how so did I miss that? I mean, is it still a twist if you're expecting a twist? Or is the real twist knowing he knows you think a twist is coming, so he probably won't do a twist, then doing a twist anyway? Boom! Shyamalan! So before you experience the mind-blowing scale of the next big comic book movie, dial things back. Like, way back. <laughs> for a superhero film that does it all without CGI, epic battles, or sky beams. Because sometimes all it takes to tell an epic story is the power of stairs. Yeah, that's why this movie is successful, than them staring. <laughs> Daring, Sci Hard, Haley Joel Osmish, Breakman and Robin, and in West Philadelphia, born and raised oh near the playground, was having spent most of his days. He and Ups taxing because fate is so cruel, too sick to shoot b-ball outside of his school. Then an unbreakable guy who was up to some good started saving children in the neighborhood. He derailed one little train, and the guy got scared and said, I'm sending you an asylum for psychological care. Man of Feels. Man. You better not be jacking off to the Japanese comics, I swear to God. It is called hentai, and it is art. Good day, sir. 
chickens float in secret supremacy. Pumpernickel. Roses are red. My name is Dave. This makes no sense. Microwave. <laughs> the baboons have my tonsils. I just watched what? Venom for the Eddie and Venom romance. Oh my god. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Well, like I said, they did not disappoint this time. What well, they really do over at Honest Trailers. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about the stairs at first. Like when I first saw the movie. And then I started noticing that when I saw it, like the second or third time, I was like, they stare a lot. He stammered like, like he pauses and interrupts himself like in his, between the sentences a lot in that movie and it was very I remember the movie was very depressing I still remember that and when I first watched it I was like man this cause it, it seemed like a guy who kinda like who just given like not given up but like I guess sacrificed a lot of his dreams cause he was gonna be a football player and all that and he pretended that he was injured so he could get married, I guess, or, or stay with, because I think they were going to end up separating or something, or go to different schools, I can't remember. But I do remember he was, when they got in that car accident, he, he used that as an excuse that he was injured. And he kind of just felt miserable, seemed like, after that, because he, he was doing, he was doing something. I mean, he wanted to be with her, but he didn't, you know, he didn't, you know, follow his dream. And I like that he, but he found, you know, being a hero after he found that he had superhuman strength and all that. And he was, had a high degree of durability that, no, oh, he's, I can do this, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I can't, I, I can't, it was, uh, because that, that, I remember that twist at the end, like, I was surprised when I saw, I was like, I was like, what? Like, <laughs> I was, I, it blew my mind when I was a kid. And I saw, I was like, what? I was like, this man, I was like, he is the evil. I mean, he, cause I, I remember saying it at the beginning of that movie. I said, he seems like he might be, he would be an evil person. Or like a, kind of like, you know, the, the misunderstood villain type guy. But then I was like, maybe he's just an asshole. You know, he could be like kind of like his. Uh, well, I didn't say Oracle. Cause I don't think Oracle is a thing at the time. I don't think. Well, I, I hadn't read the combo word in it, Oracle in that time, but like you know, his, you know, his, his guy who helps him. You know, because like he clearly, you could tell he was intelligent, and I didn't mean they they said like he genius level into like in the glass, but I didn't think he you know he was that smart in this book. But he seemed like he did have the way he spoke very eloquently, like he had a higher degree of intelligence. And um, but then when I found out that he was the one killed killed all those people to find somebody who was at the other end of the spectrum, as he put it, I was like, you crazy motherfuckers! <laughs> like you are insane. Like, I, I can't remember, like, I mean, like, hundreds of people, and he, like, oh, you got, I know he, didn't he say he crashed a plane? Yeah, I know, he, I know he crashed that train. He went derailed that train that, uh, Bruce Willis was on. And I don't even, I can't remember everything. It was up some other, something else he did. I was like, you crazy motherfucker. Like, <laughs> But yeah, that, that was pretty good. But man, I did not realize they stared that much. They, they, they Honest Trail does that when they <laughs> they bring this stuff up. And they were like, it was some other time about it was a, a, a Twilight when they was how much they stared. And I, I didn't realize that when I first saw that movie. I mean, I realized uh, the main uh, character, the guy, the vampire. I remember him staring a lot and the chick. But I remember other people in there was staring a lot too. I just didn't even realize it. Like, I saw them doing it, and I was like, why do you keep staring at each other like that? You, know, you see that in rom-com with people just, like, that, in real life, it's kind of creepy when you just stare at each other. Even if y'all in love with one another, you're just sitting there just, just 
is like, and the way he was staring all crazy and shit, like, oh, I like watching you sleep. I was like, you fucking creep. Like, you fuck out of you think because you a vampire that they excuse you for being a creep. But anyway, I'm getting off on something else, but that was pretty good. Uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to put the link to the uh, original video in the description. I mean, you can you can go and look it up. It's an honest trailer. I mean, they're one of the biggest channels on, on YouTube. So, I mean, it's not like <laughs> type in an honest trailer. But I'll put it in there for you so you can click on it if you want to see it in full screen. Uh... And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.